In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set different wallpapers on different monitors, as well as use a slideshow to change them automatically using Windows' own functionality, as well as a cool free program called Display Fusion. All right, so first I'm gonna show you how to set your separate wallpapers on both of your monitors straight through Windows. What you gotta do first is search up background image settings and then open it up and you will get this window with your current wallpaper. And at the top you can select if you wanna use a picture or if you just wanna use a solid color or whatnot, just select picture. And then at the bottom you can see how the background will fill your screen. I always use fill because it looks the best but it depends on what size pictures you're using, of course. Next, click on browse in the middle so you can select which uh, wallpapers you wanna use. And you need to first browse for both of your wallpapers that you wanna use. So go to the location and select the first one. Doesn't matter which one it is. And then browse again and select the image you wanna use for your other monitor. As I do here and then once you see both of the images in the as the thumbnails, you just right click on either one of them and then you can select which monitor it should go on. For example here, I will select the second monitor, which is in my case the one I'm recording. And then for the other one, I select the other monitor. And voila, that's all you need to do. Now you have separate wallpapers on both monitors. Now you can also set a slideshow setting, which would basically pick a random wallpaper between certain intervals and it will change different wallpapers to both monitors. And you can set that up from the same settings and all you need to do is at the top setting, select slideshow and then you will get these options. Then from the browse, you need to select whichever folder all your wallpapers are at, but you can only select one folder, so you gotta put all your image files in there. And once you selected that, you can select the interval between how often your wallpapers are rotating, as well as if you wanna shuffle them or if you wanna just rotate them in order. And then select how the image stretches, but that's it. And that's all you need to do. Now your wallpapers will keep rotating between both of your monitors. Now, if you want a bit more control over your wallpapers and how they change, I recommend you download Display Fusion. Once you set it up, look for the icon in the taskbar, right click it and click on desktop wallpaper to go to the wallpaper settings. And here you can see both your monitors here and the wallpaper that is on them. Then click on the one you want to modify and then select one of these options. The first one stretches one big image across all your monitors, which can look cool as well if you get the right wallpaper. And then similarly here, the second option, which I'm going to use is select separately for each monitor. And here you can see which image is being shown on each monitor and you can click load image to select separate images for each monitor. But we're gonna use the slideshow option here just to show you. You can check the checkbox and then click on the add folder button to add a folder from which the program will read any images. And you can add multiple folders, which is way more convenient than the Windows option. Then just remember to set the folders for both monitors separately since the settings are not duplicated when you use different image for each monitor. But that's really all you need to remember about this one. Finally, you can click apply to see what it will currently look like in the background. And it will rotate the wallpapers as it would normally. You can see here the both the monitors and then you can click OK to save your settings. And it will also do another rotation if you click OK. Just keep that in mind. Now, a couple more final things, which I think are only a feature in the Pro version, but I still highly recommend getting it because it's definitely worth it, is in the same desktop wallpaper settings. You can uh, modify the wallpapers like these settings here. You can change the way they're colored as well as you can rotate them and flip them, all kinds of stuff, which I guess is not really that useful in most cases, but in some cases it can be cool if you can invert the colors of a wallpaper and stuff, so they look very cool on multiple monitors. And finally, a quick way to rotate your wallpapers if you don't wanna wait for the interval, you can right click on the icon and go here and click on the load next wallpaper, or whatever random wallpaper. But the only thing you need to remember here is you have to have multiple wallpapers in the folder or it doesn't seem to really rotate them very effectively. 
as you can see here I only had three wallpapers so it rotated the same one for one of my monitors but now I click it again and it's gonna pick one of the three that I have in it which uh, is different and another cool thing in the pro version you can also set a hotkey to rotate the wallpapers which you can set by going to settings and then at the top go to functions and then at the top right there's a filter box just type in wallpaper or whatnot and it will show you wallpaper related shortcut keys and at the very top one you can just double click on the shortcut key combo to set it to whatever you want and then you can click those keys to rotate your wallpapers if you for some reason want a fresh look or something like that i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new if there's some issues let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next one peace